Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. And in this video, you're going to hear and see references to the JLT oil separator. Well, we're excited to announce that as of December 2021, all JLT oil separators will now be J and L oil separators. Same great product with a different name. Thank you for your purchase. We're going to walk you through the JLT 3.0 oil separator installation included in the JLT oil separator kit. It's the oil separator, mounting bracket, mounting bolt, screws, and two 3 8 hoses. The tools you'll need for installation is a 13 millimeter socket, extension, ratchet, a Phillips head screwdriver, a long pair of needle nose pliers, short pair of needle nose pliers, and light oil. Let's get started. All right, our first step, we're gonna remove the engine cover. Just pull up on the front and in the back and set that off to the side. Next, we're gonna need to locate our PCV line, which is right here by the oil fill cap. You'll see the PCV valve connection. And then you follow that up to the intake manifold. It's got these squeeze clamps. We're gonna squeeze those with our pliers, slide them back. That one. Now to break these free, you can take your pliers, squeeze the hose, and twist oh. it free. Right. That one. And now for the fun one. Okay, so now we just got to get that line out of there. All right, so we just removed that clamp. That should allow our hose to slide out a little easier. All right, so this is the line removed. You'll see it has these protective foam sections. This probably would have been easier if we would have cut these off. Down in this area, you have all kinds of coolant lines that have those spring clamps on it that kept grabbing the rubber line. But with a little patience, it did come out still in one piece. Now our JLT bracket is going to mount to this threaded hole next to this ground. Just a little tip, put your bolt through your bracket first so it's harder to drop. And go ahead and get that started by hand. So, 
we won't tighten that all the way down yet. We're gonna get our can mounted, match the logos up of the can and the bracket. Use your supplied screws. And we can go and tighten these screws up. Now initially when we put this bracket down, it wouldn't straighten all the way up. So what we did is we just loosened this ground up. It's a slotted hole and just shifted the ground over a millimeter or two and now we're able to straighten our bracket all the way up. So once we get that bracket straightened, we will tighten the JLT bolt. All right, now we want to grab our longer of our two JLT lines. This is going to run to our intake manifold. So we're going to start by feeding that portion. We're going to go between this intercooler here and the intake manifold bracket. And we're going to slide that through. I'm going to pull our hose a little further than we need it. We're going to take our clamp from our factory line. Get that started, keep it at an angle that's usable. Now we're going to want to lubricate the end of the hose with our oil. You can even put some on the fitting itself. And we need to work this on. Grab a pair of pliers and see if we can wiggle this up like we kind of wiggled it off. It's going slowly. past the barb. The barb's right here. We're going to slide our clamp up. Like so. So now to continue this run, we're going to remove our oil cap. Set that to the side for now. Slide our harness out of the way. And what we're doing is we're aiming to push this underneath this harness alongside the intercooler. And this will give us plenty of clearance for the engine cover. You can reinstall your oil cap.
I'm going to grab our shorter hose. I'm going to pre-install this clamp. And I'm going to lubricate this hose with our oil. I'm going to be pretty liberal with this because this is in a very tight area. And we're going to need all the help we can. So not only am I going to lube that, but I'm going to try to get a little oil on the PCB itself. In hopes that it slides right on. So to route our hose, we're going to go underneath this coolant line. through these two stainless lines. And to start feeding that on, we're touching. I'm gonna grab a long pair of needle nose. If you feel this PCB fitting, you'll feel the barb. The barb is what holds everything. So you wanna get at least the hose a half an inch past this barb so the clamp clamps an entire width of hose here. So we got this down probably 90% of the way. There's a little gap there, but it's plenty of room for our clamp. So now we're gonna work our clamp on. there and then I keep rotating it further and further away from me We gotta just connect our JLT lines, which is significantly easier. A little oil on that one. Push that on. And then our other line to the T side.